What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, we completed the seasides of chapters 3 and 4. In this episode, we're going to try to at least complete chapter 5s. We'll see about chapter 6. I'd imagine these are going to be getting more difficult, and will probably take a little bit more time. So, we'll see. My, my hands are a little bit sore from playing some Smash Bros before this. Uh, just playing some Spacies, for those of you that play quite a bit, but... Okay. How do we want to do this? So... Overestimated that. I've got an idea. Wait, I hit the wrong button. Wow. Wow, guys. It, is, it hasn't even been that long since I've played last. Yeah, I figured I needed to do the whole bouncy thing. Hmm. Alright, let's, let's try this again. Yeah, I think I need to... Move a little bit more quickly so that I can, uh... Oh, I almost had it. So that I can, uh, progress far enough to the right that I don't get... Blocked overhead like that. Oh, I almost had it, guys! I can at least appreciate that they're forcing me to utilize this mechanic now. Huh. Whoa. So what do they want me to do here? Wait, no, why did I... Why am I hitting the wrong button instead all of a sudden? Oh! That's really cool. So you can do the, the bounce, you know, like the extra jump, the wall bounce, is what I guess I'll call it, after the dash, and you'll still get the momentum from that platform movement. And here we are, guys. We're on the long room. So we're going to take this. We're going to go all the way to the right. We're going to have to dash up, probably bounce off of that little, little lip in the wall there. Get our dash back. Dash into that. Dash to the lower right. My only question is... Oh, so why why is that lower one there? Hmm, I don't know, 100%, but... Anyways, I think we'll take this lower right, we'll dash up, wall bounce, climb onto that, climb up there, regain that, jump off, fall to the right until we get to the right of that platform, dash up, wall bounce, regain our dash, fall to the right again. Yeah, I think I fall to the right again. I'm seeing that I could grab onto the platform at the very bottom, potentially, and then wall jump off, but I don't think I'd make it far enough to the right. So I do think I need to just fall to the right, and then dash up, wall bounce, land on this red thing, go to the right, dash up, wall bounce, but not a lot, and go to the left, then go to the right, dash down, grab onto that wall, wall jump, and then go to the right. Oh man, and then there's still so much more. Okay, so then we go to the right, we dash up right, we get that crystal, we dash up, we fall down onto this, then we probably dash up right, then right, then up, then up right, and we land on that platform, and then we jump over there and take our time getting the crystal heart. Wow, so there... There is a lot to this level. <laughs> there is a lot to this level. Hey, this is not too bad. Uh, oh, interesting. I didn't realize that that platform would be up there. That definitely makes a difference. Ah, uh, didn't quite, didn't quite get that. I think I was a little bit too early there. And yet again. Darn. I don't think I really need to be... Well, I definitely don't need to be holding to the right as much as I was there, so... Let's try readjusting that. Once I get there next, that is. Probably still, I probably still like instinctively 
tap to the right a little bit. Oh, I wasn't close enough. Yet again, I wasn't close enough. I guess I'm just really afraid of um, not, what's it called? Or uh, of getting, I don't know, hit from above by those blocks. And that time, I should have held right, but I like ingrained it in my muscle memory to not do so. Ah. All right, try again we will. This one definitely seems like it's gonna be a tough one, guys, so. Hope you guys got some popcorn, you got a nice snack. Why did I hit the, the hold button, like the grip button instead of the dash button there? Ah, oh, still. I feel like I still need to get comfortable with just how close do you need to be to those in order to get that. Okay. Oh, I didn't react in time. I should have paused. I didn't react in time. Darn. That's alright. We got this. We are learning. Learning a new way to die, that is. I think that was the first time we died in that manner. Whoa. I don't know, for those of you that are actually watching very intently, the game like slowed down there for a moment. Alright. No! Oh! I didn't even realize that there's a, um, there's a spring right by that last, the last, uh, it's tough to describe now. The most recent time we got decently far, <laughs> there was a red bubble, and to the right of it was a spring we could actually utilize. You can see it in the lower right corner there. Aw oh, man. This is one of those where it's very difficult to uh, commentate at the same time. Okay, springboard, but I don't need it. Oh, I hit down right instead of just straight down. Come on. Okay, here we go. What? Oh, I was too early. All right, at least it seems like I'm getting more consistent with this part, which is always a good sign. Oh, did I? <laughs> That's funny. I totally forgot to hit the jump button, so I just dashed straight up rather than actually um, do a wall bounce. At least the uh, chill music is appreciated. Alright, aw oh, man, first time I got pineapple in a while, smashes on the mind, aw oh, man. Aw, oh, I did not have enough momentum to get a meaningful wall bounce there, and that time I got way too much of one. Really? Oh, I need to remember to like go the right direction. Feels like such a silly reason to die there. It's like when you know 100% what you have to do, but for some reason your fingers just aren't responding the way you want them to.
That's okay. And now for some reason I'm having a difficult time just spacing this initial jump. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I hit upright again instead of just straight up. We are so close. I'm gonna get it this try. I lied. <laughs> but I do feel like we're really close to getting this. Ah, oh, man. Why did I hit upright? I think that's the first time I've died in that manner. And there you have it, guys. Woo! I feel like that was a pretty quick one. It was like once we got past that, that one really difficult section, I mean, the second half of the level, the far right of the level, came really quickly. Woo! All right, Chapter 5, Seaside complete. That was a fun one. That was a very cool one. But wow, um, I'm, I'm shocked at how quickly we made it through that one. So next up is chapter six. Let's let's hop into it. Oh man. We're dealing with bumpers. I already see what we need to do. Oh man. Ah. I love that they're like now actually like pushing me to utilize a lot of the mechanics, right? And especially the more advanced ones. And oh man, we got a falling segment. Wish me luck. Oh no, we have the feathers. Really wish me luck, guys. <laughs> oh, I was like, where am I going? Ah oh, man. This, this might be it, guys. This might be where I call it quits. I'm kidding. I probably would not, unless I got, you know, incredibly frustrated to the point that I didn't think I could do it, and I wasn't having any fun, and I was spending, you know, hours and hours on it. But this is something I feel I can accomplish. It's just so tough for me to navigate with these feathers. They feel the least intuitive to me. There's like... I don't know, there's something weird about it. There's something weird about how it controls. That's all I can really say. I can't, can't pinpoint exactly what it is, but... Oh man! When I get to that point, I just need to hold right and then wall cling when I can. Okay. All right. Now it's probably gonna be the long room. It is, oh no, it's another falling room. Oh no, guys. Let's take a look at what's, what's up ahead, or down below, rather. <laughs> so we drop. We presumably hit that on the right, cling to it, drop down to regain our dash there, fall, dash to the left. Hmm. I'm curious as to why, could, could we even get all the way over on the left there? Do you guys see that? Don't tell me we have to re-hit the, oh, I'm totally gonna have to. Oh no. Am I gonna have to navigate the, the blue block down there? Because otherwise, look at this bottom segment, guys. How do I get to the right if I don't have the blue block there? Oh no. Oh no. I don't, I don't like that at all. 
Because, yeah, we're going to have to hit it on the right side, jump off, get our dash, hit it on the bottom side, and then fall, potentially jump on it, and then get it to go to, like, the left, and then down, and then to the right. I This one's actually, I was going to say, I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'm eventually going to have to make my way over here. I think what I'm going to have to do is ride the top of it and use the momentum from when it smacks into this blue wall fly up there get my dash and then go to the right and then there's another segment holy cow at least there are no feathers but would you look at that there's that and you have to get over that and then to the right and then that is going to be difficult Wow. <laughs> wow, guys. This... This is gonna be a tough one. I can't even jump off of it in time. Is that what I'm supposed to do? I don't know. But otherwise, I mean, like I get to this point, right? And then I have nothing to do. And I feel like, hmm, I'll try and time it so that I like fall off earlier. But that even in and of itself is a really difficult timing to get so that I land on that Even then... Right? Like, what do I... what do I do here? Hmm... There's nothing I can really do at that point, right? I feel like I need to utilize this. So then what would my strategy be, right? It's so unlikely that I'm actually able to get this and then drift enough to the left to dash up and get the block to even go down, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. This one is definitely going to be the toughest, in my opinion. I mean, I haven't seen 7 and 8 yet, but... That was interesting. I was low enough that I got the crystal, but, um... But was still clinging on. Let me, let me see if I can do that again. The other thing I was thinking is I can try to, like, bounce off the top like that and then kind of land on top of it and then jump and dash to the right but I'm not gonna that's not gonna take me far enough I don't even see myself making it in time I don't know, guys. I mean, it's pretty clear that I need to... I can't hit it from above or anything. Like, I need to hit it from below. I can't even duck, aside from that initial segment, either. Like, I'm thinking I might be able to, like... Well, 
Well, that's not gonna work. <laughs> oh, I don't know, guys. If I do that, I mean, it's gonna be way too fast. All I can think of is if I, like, try to immediately dash back up and cling onto the left side and then wait for that crystal to come back? I don't know. No, I'm just looking at when it was gonna respawn, it wouldn't be fast enough. I don't know, guys. Like, I'm, I'm actually just not even sure I know how to use Madeline here. Because I definitely need to bring this blue block down. Like, for sure. I... I don't know. I mean, I'll try a few more things, but... I mean, like, what do you do if you don't even know how to proceed, right? I'm not one to just waste time trying the same thing over and over that's not working. Right now, the only thing I can think of is if, like, I do that, where I land on top of it, but then... leave such a small window. Is there a way I can get like an extra like bounce jump off of it or something? I don't know. Doesn't seem like it. Is there some mechanic I'm missing? What if I like... No. Hmm. I mean like the earlier levels, right? They had like the falling segments with the feathers and, and moving through that. And But I, I don't see that as being very relevant here. <laughs> and they had like bumpers and all, but... I don't know. Maybe I can do that. Wow. That's going to have to be it. Alright, well, we've at least got something to work with, right? Certainly better than nothing. Oh no, I didn't want to cling there. Aw oh, man. Okay, we will slowly but surely make progress, but man, I, I think this might be the one, guys, that takes me forever. Ah. I know the previous ones, I mean, chapter five, we like flew through, but this one, this one will not be so, okay, I think I actually need to um, grab onto the block there. Darn it. I wonder if I have enough room to ride on top of the block there. Oh, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Which means that's going to be a tough part. This is all going to be a tough part, honestly. Yeah, I, um, I need to jump off. I can't rely on just kind of like falling off at that point. I need to have jumped off beforehand. 
pretty soon after I hit the left side of the block, too. I gotta do that a little bit more quickly. Just trying to get the timing down. Oh, what? I hit right. Okay. Hmm. I need to I need to cling onto it faster so that I can be ready to jump off of it more quickly. I think that was the problem with that last attempt. Close. Close. I think when I originally set up the re clinging to the block there, I need to make sure I am already doing it a bit lower. Oh! I see what I need to do. I see. I should have. I should have noticed. I'm so big on, you know, game design and everything, but I hadn't even noticed in the beginning, and I didn't... <laughs> in this little segment, these little alcoves are clearly designed for the player. So, like, this little area here is somewhere I'm supposed to be, right? So I think what I need to do... <clears throat> at this point... is... cling to the left wall... And then, as it's going to the right, drop down, regain my dash. Ooh. Hit the bumper, bump to the right, and then as it's over that gap towards the middle of the screen, dash at it from below so that it goes straight downward. Then I fall, land on that crystal, um, regain my dash, and dash to the left, and uh, hopefully it's down there still, and then I'll need to hit it on the right side so that I get momentum and can swing forward. All right. Come on. Oh no, almost, almost. I was, I was impatient, I jumped too early. But okay, I'm, I'm glad I at least have the, the roadmap, right? I have the strategy down. Just gotta execute now. We were so close. I wonder if it's gonna give me like a checkpoint there. Why did I why did I jump like that? Yeah, there's like another set of binoculars, right? Oops. But so it makes me think they might, but at the same time, I would be very surprised if they put a checkpoint in the middle of one of these levels. Oh man. Yeah, I should just try and drop from that rather than mess around with like Momentum and, and all that. Okay. So let's see here. Is it going to actually give me a checkpoint? Probably not. But regardless. So again, planning it out, right? I'm going to need to jump on top of the bumper. I think, I hope, I can, if I hit this all the way on the right... I'll go far enough to the right that if I dash up, I'll hit this bumper all the way on the right. And that'll send me all the way over this way. My concern is I probably need to dash over this and then fade to the right. And that's going to be really tricky. And it's going to depend a lot on where they're moving. You can see them moving back and forth, right? And then I'm going to go to the right again and then I'll dash up and hit the right side of that again. And then have to do the same thing there. Except this time, it's going to be different because I'm going to go to the right and then dash up to get my jump back, my dash back again, and then have to fade to the right without hitting that spike, and then dash up, wall bounce, come over here, land all the way on the right of that, 
without a dash, so I can't use that level trick. And then, but I really have to land all the way to the right, I think. Oh, I'll have my dash back, and then I can get the crystal, and then the crystal heart. So, all right, let's um, let's see what we can do. <laughs> oh, they do give us a checkpoint. Wow, I am surprised, but grateful. Almost, almost, guys. We are actually really close. I feel. No! Oh, I had it! I had it. Almost. Okay. I was like, I didn't do the wall bounce correctly, but I'll see if I can make it work anyways. Whoa, that was not how I expected that to go. Okay, there's a little bit more leeway with these jumps than I initially thought there would be, which is actually really nice. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was gonna keep moving to the right. I need to drift further to the right as I'm getting the crystal. And then, obviously, afterwards, too. So that was, like, really close. Um, whoa. Slow down there. Yeah, I feel like getting the spacing just right for that wall bounce is going to be my, my limiting factor here. Oh. Oh, so close! There was one bumper away! One bumper! Okay. Oh, again! I'm trying to, you know, fall to the side of it and then kind of drift into it from the side. There we go! Whew! <sighs> chapter six. Chapter six complete. That was, the beginning was tough. And honestly, I think that one was more my fault um, than anything. I don't think it was exceptionally difficult. It was my ineptitude at giving, uh, reading the game's cues, right? Reading the game's clues um, to, that are, were telling me where I should be going, what I should be doing. If I noticed earlier on, oh, they have these little alcoves for the player to hide in, I probably need to utilize that um, that would have been a lot more helpful in giving that that first part a go. So that one's on me for taking so long with that. But otherwise, I mean, the second half of that was was actually really fun with flying all over the place, moving quickly, and the wall bounces. So that was that was some good stuff. And just like that, we now have completed Chapter Six's Seaside. Honestly, I feel like I feel like if I had noticed those things earlier, we might even have time to do Chapter Seven's Seaside. The summit although I feel like this is gonna be a long seaside maybe not though maybe it'll fit the structure of all the previous ones where it's a couple rooms and then one really long room but maybe not um, and then obviously there's chapter 8 but I think that is gonna to have to be saved for another episode just given the time duration here but I hope you guys enjoyed this one I hope you guys weren't too frustrated with my ineptitude at reading the levels cues uh, for how to complete it and are excited to see what the summit seaside hold and uh, I mean Maybe, maybe next episode is the last seaside before chapter nine. I don't know if chapter nine has B-side, seaside, etc. But we are we are cruising through these, and honestly, I'm I'm starting to think what what should I let's play next? It's a good question. A lot of requests. I uh, know a, a bunch of different comments from a bunch of different series. So, anyways, that's always exciting too. But until the next episode, Zoo Night Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>